Okay, so I'm back for another one. Um, so I'm gonna go over the, you know, how to install either the vent window or the window or the, maybe the window regulator. The fact is if you do your window regulator, you gotta do all three anyway. So why don't we just go over it? Um, so in this truck, isn't that beautiful? Uh, this window is not attached to this window regulator. I'm missing a piece in there. So instead of just replacing the piece, I thought maybe I would swap this out because it's kind of crusty anyway. Um, with uh, one I picked up from I Pull You Pull today. We'll throw that in there. And I also picked up uh, glass as well. Now I don't know which glass is better, but I thought I'd rather have it. And that way if I don't need it, I can bring it back. But if I do need it, I, I'll replace this one. This this one actually doesn't seem too bad. I might end up keeping it. At any rate, um, I'll get you guys set up on a, on a tripod. And then we'll go over it. Um, yeah. All right. So hang tight. Okay. So you should be able to pop your panel off with just a Phillips screwdriver. And in fact, this Phillips screwdriver should be able to get this entire job done for us. Um, we're going to have four, four screws up top here. We got one here, one here, and then we're going to have two over here. We got one here and one here. So we pop those off because those are different sizes. So in case you uh, forget where they go, you can always refer back to this footage. So up top here, it's a guy about an inch long, I guess. I'll just set it down here. And then next, another tiny guy. So our two tiny guys are going to go here and here, and then the two taller ones on top. Okay, pretty straightforward. But that's not that all that holds that in. We also have these two screws here. And those are little shorties. Oh, you want the window down. And you should be able to pull her back like so. And then push her down. The glass is holding me up. Here, I'll just close that up. Once you pull her down, you can pull her to out towards you, pull it up, turn it sideways, and then that's for this guy here. That's where those two screws go. So when you pull it up, you just got to turn it and then take her out the rest of the way. Very straightforward. I think I got these seals. I'll change those seals out. Not today, but another time. So here you see my glass is no longer at one with the, the roller, the track. So here's the track here. Let me see if I can get you guys in here. You have to use your imagination a little bit. So you see this track here? Normally your glass would be attached to that. I, mine isn't, mine's off of it. But with this out, you can now slide this window assembly forward. And then off the regulator and then slide it backwards and then you can take the glass out. In my case, it just fell to the bottom. You probably pull it out the rust hole in the front, but I won't. Um, at this point, I need to take off these two screws, these two screws, and I think that screw. Then we can take this assembly out. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Um, whatever, it can stay right where it is. Get that off for now. We'll take off these two. Yeah, 
Yeah, she broke off. All right. So now there's this guy. Question is, do I want to take it off or not? I think I do. The only reason this is coming off is to gain access to get the regulator in and out. And these ones are real nice for some reason. So we'll just take off these three screws, set this down there for a second, reach in and This is that window track that our um, glass is supposed to mount to. So here, let me paint a picture for you. This is going to mount here like this. And see this guy down here? There's actually a small track runs right in here. So you gotta get that guy in this track when we put it back in. It's gonna sit right in there like that. And then our, our window will sit on that track. So we will slide it in on this side first and then slide it past. And we'll slide it backwards to get on, on this guy like so. And we'll be on the track. Make sense? Hope so. So this is our old stuff. Now we can try and put on our new stuff. Maybe before I do though, I'm just gonna take a few minutes and grease her up a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. So. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is slide this guy in this one that we talked about and then you want to slide it through up here what that'll do is it'll just kind of hold her in position for you while you get your poop in a group so throw that guy in there I'll throw this guy in here Okay. Now two more to put here, like so, and drop her into position. I'm going to put the front one on first. So it's right here. There we go. And you can see this back one here, there's a roller on the other side. I'm just going to line that roller up. And put this guy on. Oh no. The glass just came out. God damn it. Okay, so I slid it on that side. I'll slide it on this side. There we go. So I ended up putting a little epoxy in there. And I know, I know. Don't I don't want to hear about it. I know it's not right. But I don't have what is right, so and I want to get this back in. So that's what we're doing. Uh if you're mad about it, I suppose you can get your money back. Here, let's... Uh... This guy back in there so again we got to turn it to 50 get her in there then we can turn it back there we 
turn this way. Back in here. Straighten that guy out. Come on, you. Alright, so we got the longer screws on top, if you remember. Front two. That's little shorties. Now, we need to roll this window up. I'll just set that in there. I got some epoxy drying in there now. I know, I know that's not what we're supposed to use, but that's what I'm using, so. I don't know, if you want to call a cop, feel free. I'm okay with it. Someone out there will be my alibi. Look at this weld, weld job here. You'd think I was already into this. You see that? Here, take a look. Was I working on this already? Maybe. Kind of looks like it. Nice. Didn't want that one anyway. Okay. And these guys are going to go on the bottom of this. And this is a rail that runs straight down for the track for the front of the window. And also is this, this, this rail off of here. So we'll stick those guys on. And we'll call her done. So there you go. We got the entire job done with the Phillips screwdriver. Unfortunately, in my case, um, Somebody had gone in already and on that window had re had siliconed the bottom, so that's not given, doing us any favors. So I go in, I went in and JB welded the bottom. I'm probably not doing myself any favors either, but hey, full transparency. I just want to get the job done and I think it'll hold anyway. If not, I'll I guess I'll have to carve it out and uh, replace it properly. At any rate, that's going to do it for this one. So if you were replacing just the vent window, roll your window down, pull out these four screws, pull out these two screws, pull it down, back this way, up, turn, and out. Bob's your uncle. And then say reverse to put it back in. If you got to do your window, remember... Roll it down a little bit, slide it backwards, and then forwards, and then out, and then you can replace it. If you gotta do your regulator, then you do the rest of these screws, slide the whole thing out. It's good to get this out of the way, only so that you can, you know, not have to fart around the confined space. You can pull that guy out of there. That's gonna do it for this one. Um, I don't know, I hope it helps you. If you're looking at changing your window or, pulling out your vent window or changing your regulator um, with one from the, the wreckers or or just another one of your own. This one's done. If you stuck around this long, please consider uh, subscribing. I don't have a lot of subscribers <laughs> and it would be good. And this is gonna be uh, a cool little project when we get her done. So I hope you guys stick around for it. Um, Got the LS motor going in. Well, the LS motor currently is in. I'm just waiting on the harness. And once the harness is here, we'll get back on that bad boy.